Hello everyone, this is Warlord. We're going to take a look at content management and drag and drop. Uh, I've had a few inquiries since I wrote my article about it wanting me to expand on it a little further, and really there's nothing to it. What we're looking at here is the root drive of a USB hard drive. Now, what you have to do is probably make sure more than anything that you're in the right tab. So I want to go to Set, I want Props, because I'm looking for a prop. I want to use the village because it's something I was just working with. So I know it would be a good search example. Alright, here's the terrain. I don't want the whole village. I just want the terrain. And this terrain is actually a prop. It's just labeled terrain. Now, with village, chances are I'm going to find pretty much any kind of building I want just by going through like this and grabbing them pulling them over water mill if you're not sure you're going to use them doesn't matter you just delete them but in order to make sure that I've got everything I might use. In my case, I'm also going to look for building. Now you will have it in folders, but everything that's in these folders will be displayed out in thumbnails. And you saw how fast that popped up. And this is actually doing a network search, because that USB drive is hooked to another computer that's hooked to this one via network. And you can see all we have to do is find what we want. And just position it in a way that you can get to what you're looking at and drag it in. It doesn't matter what it is. Now chances are also a lot of these are going to be up in the air on the z-axis. They're not actually going to be on the ground with the way we drug them in there. It just depends. But you can also see from here how much easier it's going to be to build a scene. Now this must be one heck of a high poly model. Especially to be taking this long. And there it is. Yeah, that's a pretty good poly count right there. I wouldn't recommend everybody loading one like that. And it doesn't exactly fit the period anyway. Not all of these do that I drug in. But this is just to give you an idea. You can see here's one right here I'm talking about. You can see the z-axis is up. That tells you right there if it's not at zero, it's not on the ground. Now this prop happens to have a basement in it. So sitting on the ground is actually a little different on it. It is also furnished on the inside to a certain degree. So I'm sure that's the reason for the high poly count. But you can see now, all you have to do now is just position. <clears throat> now, I know that a lot of people are very uh, married to the grid. That's fine. Grid, you can just snap things into place. If you put snap to grid on, uh, there's an angle snap. You know, there's all kinds of advantages to using a grid. I just don't like being that symmetrical on something like a medieval scene. Uh, I don't exactly want things uh, lined up uh, like I would in a more modern scene or something. But that's strictly up to you. But you can see here... But there's nothing to drag and drop.